Hello children. I hope you all are in your high spirits. Yeah. Okay. So today I'm going to tell you more about pronouns. I'm going to tell you more about pronouns. What are pronouns? I already explained you about the nouns and then pronouns. Pronouns are the words that we use in place of nouns. What are pronouns? They are the words that we use in place of the nouns. Okay. So, these are called pronouns. Now, let's see which word, which words are used as pronouns. He, she, it, I. We, they. He, she, it, I, we, they. And you. They all are used in place of nouns. Now, also I had explained you that for boy we use he. He is used for singular boy and she is used for singular girl. Right? Singular boy, he. Singular girl, she. But when there are more people, when there are more boys or girls, then we use the word they. They. He and she are used only for the singular person, whether boy or girl. But they can be used for boys as well as for girls. Right? And for thing, objects. Like ball, phone, book, TV, computer, road, door, toys, any object. We use it. It is used for objects, for birds and for animals. Right? Okay, now you have... Uh, uh, now we have recapitulated about these things. Pronouns. What are the pronoun words? Uh... Now, are you ready to do this little exercise with me? What do we have to do here? This is page number 21 from your English grammar book. Write the correct pronouns for the underlined words. We have to write the correct pronoun for the underlined word. Let's read the sentence first. Look at my baby brother. Look at my baby brother. Now, underlined word here is brother. So, brother, we have to write a pronoun for this word, for this noun. So, brother is a boy So and singular. So, what do we use for the boy? He. So, out of he, she, it, we will select he. He is eight months old. Okay, let's move on. Number two, Ajay has a bat and bat is underlined, right? This is the underlined word here, bat. So, what do we have to write for or in place of bat? He, she or it. Now, bat is not a girl or a boy. It is an object. It is a thing. So, what are we going to write for an object? It. So, here we will write it and we will complete the sentence. It is made of wood right <clears throat> here it refers to the bat now next one number three granny has a new phone underlined word is phone phone is an object again so he she or it it that's right it is a gift from mummy now, let's move on. Number four. Miss Rao is my aunt. She, he or it. Now, this is female, a girl. So, we are going to write here. She. She loves me. Okay, let's move on to the next page and do more of the exercises. What do you have to do here? Fill in the blanks with pronouns. Okay, see the picture. I am Fuzzle. T 
This is my father. Dash is a news reader. Now here Fuzzle is talking about his father. So uh, this is my father. Dash is a news reader. Who is news reader? His father. So for father what are we going to write? He, she or it? He. He is a news reader. Number two. This is my mother. Dash is a dentist. Now they are talking about the mother. Now no word is underlined here. You have to find out the noun here. This is my mother. What is the noun here? Mother. So mother is female. So we here we are going to write she. She is a dentist. Right. Next one. Dash are twins. Dash are twins, sir. Now, there are more than one boys, right? So, what are we going to write here? He? No, that will be wrong because more than one. He is used for the singular boy, but here there are two boys here, you can see. So, for more people, we write they. They are twins. This is Kiki, our pet. It is can talk. Kiki is a bird. So for birds we use it. It is already done. Okay, let's move on. My grandparents live in Kochi. Dash have come to visit us. Grandparents. Now more people. So what are we going to write here? Whenever there are more people, girls or boys will just write they. Okay, next one. Dash are a happy family. Now, a lot of people here. So, they again, they are a happy family. Okay, kids. So, this way you have learned how to use the pronouns in place of nouns. Right. So, what you have to do today, you will do these two exercises. Number C, page number 21 and D, page number 22. Okay, kids. That's all for today. Keep learning. Keep practicing. Bye-bye. Take care.